was built in uh, Saint Nazaire, in a famous shipyard in France, specifically to sail here, in this part of the world, French Polynesia, South Seas. And uh, yes, she is designed uh, to be here uh, all the year. Uh, she has a shallow draft of maximum 17 feet. And she's very maneuverable. Uh, she can enter in the, through all these uh, narrow and shallow passages in, uh, into the lagoons. Uh, we can anchor in uh, shallow spots. And uh, she's a very special ship. What comes to mind when I ask you yeah. if there was a special moment or a special experience that? Uh, as captain that you have been a part of? I have every day is special here. Every day. Every sunrise, every sunset is special for me. But uh, yes, I may, let's say, what first crossed my mind is uh, we are going, uh, we are visiting Marquesa Silence as well. So uh, there is an island named Fatuhiva. So we drop anchor early in the morning in one village on the western side of the island named Omoa. A very small village. We drop anchor. Then departure time we set just one hour before sunset. Then we pick up the anchor and we are sailing very, very close to the cliffs of the island. So we have on one side and left side on port side of the western you have a, a sun coming down to the horizon and then you have on the right side on your uh, uh, right hand you have uh, high cliffs uh, with you can see flora and fauna is fantastic so you can spot uh, wild goats on the cliffs huh? you can touch them you have a feeling that you can touch the goats that's how we close we are then you have an ocean, deep, deep ocean, immediately close to the cliffs. And uh, the blue color, uh, the ocean is as clear as a diamond, really, and, uh, like a pearl. And uh, da uh, a lot of, uh, sometimes we have a lot of dolphins just playing around the ship. And then when we reach a virgin bay, we just turn the ship towards the sunset and the guests have opportunity to see the uh, uh, sunset and even they may spot 